Hello, my name is Stephen Johan. I am in ministry in Edmonton, Alberta at Trinity United Church, and I am a member of the Equity Support Team. When I first read about the Equity Support Team and that uh, General Counsel was looking for participants to that, it was, it was something of a... Um, um, an epiphany for me. Something inside of me, I'm not sure where the spirit was working in me, but uh, was saying to me that this is something that uh, that you need to do. It's valuable to hear a wide variety of voices, to see a wide variety of practices. Not everything looks like the way I do things. Not everything sounds like I uh, am used to hearing. And so, to me, that was an important indication of the work of the equity support team in making sure that a variety of voices, a representative variety of voices, are heard at General Counsel. Equity is, to me, is about participation. And for everyone being able to participate, and having the ability to participate. Um, I think equity is important because it shows that we can receive contributions from a wide variety of people. And I think that always, um, that always adds to our, within the church, adds to our theological understanding and our uh, practices. It's when we hear from a diverse um, community that the church that makes up the church. General Council has named a number of equity aspirations. These are the uh, the goals to which we um, to which we hope to move, including um, thinking about the biases that we bring. That's a general understanding that we don't always recognize what the biases are that we hold and the assumptions that we bring with us. So it's um, this is where it's really important to hear other voices and to recognize that the assumptions that I bring uh, may not be someone else's assumptions. We hope to, to hear as many voices, if not all voices, uh, that want to participate we aim for equity so that all are able to participate as they're able to participate, as they choose to participate. And to think of the different commitments that we have that the church, the general council has named in terms of um, uh, different, different groups that are identifiable. One of the other um, equity aspirations is to notice who's missing. And so when I think about that in terms of a meeting of general counsel, for example, or other meetings that I've uh, been part of, I think about, first of all, who's speaking. When uh, a proposal is presented or a motion is made, who's speaking to it? Uh, do we hear the same voices all the time? Are other points of view able to be, to be um, brought forward um, and who's not speaking at the meetings why is that the case and so I think about what mechanisms are available so that different voices can be heard and are there ways the general counsel can gauge the the voice of the church the various voices of the church that aren't necessarily through proposals at general counsel